Kayla, are you related to Max Hurt? Yes, I am. Do you curl? No, I'm not a very good curler. <laughs> you should tell us who Max Hurt is. Um, he is a very good curler. <laughs> is he an uncle, a brother, or a cousin? Um, he is my aunt's brother. So this is a good question for you, Alex. How would you say go Gophers in Romania? Hi, Gophers. <laughs> nice and simple. Do you want to tell us anything about yourself? Do you want to tell us anything about yourself? I don't know. <laughs> Bunch of stars. How do you like being in the USA? Like, everything is different. Pass it on down to Sari. So Sari, tell us about your major. As of right now, my major is mortuary science. <laughs> <laughs> or the K two business. I don't know. I got into it kind of in high school with forensics and stuff. But I don't know. I've always been interested. Always have a business. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, everybody wants to know, what made you come to Minnesota from Iowa? Um, I have to say I like uh, Minnesota a lot better than Iowa, and uh, I like the cities and the team a lot better. <laughs> Amber, this is right up your alley. Uh-oh. Sounds like you spent your summer playing Capture the Flag. <laughs> yes, I did. Can you tell us about Capture the Flag? Um, Caps of the Flag, we play at Northrop Auditorium at 9 p.m. every Friday, no matter if snow, rain, hail, whatever, we just go out and play. Um, we have two teams, green and orange, and we just divvy each other up and we just go after the flag. Either we get it or we defend that flag. Cool. <laughs> yes. I'm very passionate about Caps of the Flag. <laughs> I know. You can pass it down to Shantae, right next to you. Shantae Clay is a forward from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, Shantae, what is your favorite TV show and why? My favorite TV show is Law and Order, SVU, <laughs> or Family Guy. <laughs> and why? Why? Um, I like solving crimes, and Family Guy is funny. Do anybody know Stewie? Yeah, it's hilarious. Who is your favorite Lynx player? Um, that's a tough one. Um, I went to a lot of Lynx games this summer and really enjoyed watching all of them play, but I really like Candace Parker. She's very energetic and she's just a lot of fun to watch. Oh, I mean, Candace Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want your role to be, and how do you motivate the team? That's um, hard question. Uh, I want to be an energy maker. I want to be a person who gets Hold the mic up. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> cool. Uh, I want to be the person who starts the energy, who gets the spark, who gets everything going. Not only that, I want to be the person that can beat this stop, but that's one of the things I want to work on this year that I want to work on. What was the other question? How do you motivate the team? Oh, how do I motivate the team? Um, I feel like our team is pretty pretty easy to motivate. Just screaming at people, encouraging people, uh, uplifting people, hitting people, you know, whatever, whatever you need, need to do to get the job done. But uh, for the most part, yeah, hitting people are right. <laughs> Why did you pick Minnesota? Um, well, it's close to home, and I really like the coaches and the team. And I just really like the environment. You can pass it off to Brianna. 
uh, you're a Lynx, this, this, a Lynx intern this year. How exciting. What did you um, learn? Well, I definitely learned a lot um, being around them the whole summer and um, throughout the whole championship. But um, one thing I learned from them is how they bounce back so fast from um, not playing well or um, just a loss. Um, no matter how bad it was, um, the next day they were able to shake it off and just go to work and focus on the next game. So that was definitely a big thing, and I think that's something I can bring here and help our team to get over those losses or um, our performance. On your system. There's Nicole. These gals are from Becker. They're twins, in case you didn't know. So, Nicole, Ireland, I'm lucky yes. I get to ask this question. Ireland, what was your favorite, most fun part of your trip? Um, I would have to say when we got to go to Cori Mila, which was um, like a little camp kind of. We spent the night up there, we were right by the ocean, and we got to have a um, fire on the beach. So, we did a lot of team group activities and then learned a lot more about Ireland, so that was my favorite part, but I also love just traveling all around. Jackie, you were a WCCO intern this year. How close to the action did you get? Did you get to do the reporting or the newscast when you went on all that? Yeah, I got to do a lot of different things, basically everything behind the scenes, and they even got to do some stuff, like not actually on TV, but everything that the people on TV would do, so I got to go to several different press conferences. Um, when Ricky Rubio came to town, I was there. Um, passed away and I got to go to that press conference and I also had a chance to actually do like an anchor check they call it um, so the last day of my intern I got to sit at the anchor desk and read a whole sports script like Mark Rosen gets to do every night so it was a really neat experience and um, just something that I will never forget. <laughs> I'll pass that on to Kiara. Kiara is a senior from St. Paul, Minnesota. Kiara, what do you like to do when you're not playing? <laughs> no, I sleep a lot, but um, I like to see my family when I can, just because, you know, the opportunity is small. Um, I like to just hang out with my teammates, listen to music, but most of the time, when I'm not playing basketball, not at school, I'm in my bed. Lucky. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Great to see everybody here. We've got a great group, and we've got a great group back here. Uh, we just finished our, uh, our got a great trip back here. We've just uh, today was our 11th practice, so we've been we've been at this for a couple weeks, and so we've uh, really have been working extremely hard. And I think as a as a head coach, you can really tell a lot by your team by how they practice and whether the intensity is there, whether the effort's there. They're supporting each other. There's camaraderie out there, and really kind of what it looks like, and really, you know, the team's really starting to take some shape. Uh, obviously, we're a long ways away. Um, the scout guys, they do a great job for us every single day. Obviously, we got Danny, and we've never had a 6'8", 6'8", or 6'9", scout guy in the past, so he's, uh, he's a big guy, so I think it's uh, uh, taking a little bit of time for us to get used to uh, a 6'8", scout guy, but uh, I really, really have enjoyed working with this group in practice. Um, they work extremely hard in the intensity, and just uh, from uh, from top to bottom, from the seniors to the freshmen, we just have a great a great group that uh, works extremely extremely hard. Um, what can I say for this year? Uh, we're just taking it one day at a time. It's one day at a time, and really enjoying the journey with each other. Really, as, co as a coaching staff, we're really putting this team together. I think we've got a lot of exciting pieces of the puzzle. I think we have a lot of versatility in a lot of different positions this year. Um, and uh, you know, obviously we're, we're looking to play up tempo and to, in order to do that you've got to have a, a, a great defensive team and, and be able to be a great rebounding team as well so we can run in transition and uh, not take the ball out of the net. So I think you know that's that's our main focus right now is being solid on the defensive end and being a great rebounding team. And uh, that will allow us to run We've got a lot of players that can play up tempo. Um, obviously, uh, bringing a point guard uh, like Rachel Bannum in here will allow us to play up tempo and, and try to get uh, some of our other players back in their uh, their respective positions out here. 
I think our post players and, and, and practice in the last couple of weeks have really enjoyed running the floor and just really learning to play with each other has been, has been a lot of fun. Um, we've got uh, a great uh, great schedule, um, a really tough non-conference schedule that we start off with. Uh, hopefully everybody's picked up a schedule that we start on the road this year at uh, a Daytona Beach uh, a tournament. And when you see that, oh, you guys are lucky to get to go to Daytona, well, we'll probably rarely be outside um, um, with the three games that we played on. We play Arkansas, which is in the SEC, uh, Florida State, which is in the ACC, and then South Florida, which is in the Big East, back to back to back. So all three games in a row. So we start the season off with a bang. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time now to warm up with, uh, with uh, easier games on our schedule. So, uh, you know, this team will continue working hard, and I've really enjoyed uh, working with my staff. Uh, my staff has been energizing for me this year, and obviously those of you that are in practice are taking a lot of ownership and, and helping run practice, which uh, I have a lot of trust in my staff and uh, my players as well. So, uh, really having fun and enjoying this team, and I think we have a lot of potential. So. Really gonna like uh, like this team and see how they progress throughout the course of the year. Uh, the Big Ten was a senior-driven conference last year, and I think uh, the team that had the best seniors did the best. And um, you know those teams really kind of carried the load. And I think out of the 21 uh, major players in the conference, 10 of them graduated. So I, I think it's going to be a, a pretty young conference. Um, I think there's a lot of great players. I think the coaches are doing a great job recruiting in the conference great coaches in the conference, so, you know, if we don't come and we don't show up and we're not ready to play every, every single night, it's, you know, the other team's going to win. So, I, I think it's wide open. I think it's really wide open. I think Purdue probably has the most returners, and I think they've got everybody back and they finished the season strong, so, you know, if I, if I had to pick, you know, a team, you know, it's probably, they will, they will probably be the toughest team that we'll play against this year because of, they got everybody returning. I think Amber, what do I see for Amber's future? Well, I think uh, you know, we're all in control of our own future. And I think Amber's, Amber's really worked hard. I think she's really committed herself into, uh, into being here and working out. And, you know, I think she's uh, really kind of learned to uh, catch up with the intensity of practice and just continue to develop her skills. So um, we're hoping that Amber's got a bright future.